What's up Sailor Senshi? I'm Sailor Snubs. Welcome to my YouTube channel all about Sailor Moon news, merch reviews, and how-tos. Today I am unboxing and reviewing four similar character figures, all of which come from the Glitter and Glamours series. Now Glitter and Glamours is from Ben Presto and they actually make a ton of different anime figures in this line. For example, I have the lunch figures from Dragon Ball as well as these ones from Sailor Moon. So I have both the Eternal version of Sailor Moon and I have the Super Sailor Moon version, both A and B. Usually with Glitter and Glamours, you can find these in the United States for a decent price. So these are a very easy figure to introduce to your collection, especially if you're on a tight budget, which I know a lot of us are around the holidays. Also, these come in a few different color types. So you have the A version, which is usually the anime character version. And then we also have the B version, which is the pastel version. Now I know that many people, including myself, needed to unbox these as soon as they came in because some of our boxes included the wrong color type. So I believe it was my Eternal Sailor Moon A version, which should have been the anime character color. It actually came with a pastel, which is the B version, which basically meant that I got two of the same color. These also had a lot of duplicate pieces and some missing pieces. So if you do wanna collect these, I would suggest unboxing them as soon as you get them. Don't let them just sit around in their boxes, just to make sure that you have received the proper pieces because these had a lot of issues when it came to manufacturing and quality control. But with that said, they are super inexpensive. For example, I purchased mine for around $16.50 and that was from Hot Topic when they were in stock there. So I'm gonna get these boxes out of the way so I can unbox them and show you exactly what they look like and give you a little review. I will start with my Eternal Sailor Moon versions A and B so you can see the differences. So the boxes are nothing to really write home about. However, I do like the art on the boxes, so I do keep these just in case I ever want to resell them. If you are interested in these kind of videos where I review Sailor Moon merchandise that's available here here in the US. I highly suggest subscribing to this channel as well as commenting down below so you can let me know what kind of videos you want to see on the channel going forward. So as you can see, each of the pieces is separated by a little perforated plastic bag. I am happy to see that I didn't receive any missing or duplicate pieces, at least in this first box. So even though glitter and glamours are pretty inexpensive, you'll notice that these figures are actually made really well. Check out Eternal Sailor Moon's face and look at her beautiful detailing on her skirt. So even though you don't get like super high quality airbrushing, there's not a lot going on with the paint, it's pretty basic, they still do a really good job of creating this character. You may notice some flaws. For example, on mine, there's a little bit of a scuff mark on her shoulder pad right here. The mold isn't perfect on her collar, but she still looks really good. So for 16 bucks, sure, why not? Okay, I'll go ahead and put her together so you can see the finished product. Unlike resin, you can kind of bend these to get the pieces in to to place because these are made out of PVC, not super high quality resin. There we go. Okay, got her, got her wings in. Ooh, that looks so pretty. She's super pretty. It looks like she's asking you to give her something. She's like, please miss, give me some Oreos. And then these characters simply stand on this little brick, which you stick behind one of their legs. Aha, uh -huh. I did it. Yay. So here's the anime edition or the brighter color version. Next, I will do the pastel version. Okay, I got pastel eternal Sailor Moon put together. So here we have both of them side by side. So you can immediately tell that yes, there is a difference between the colors. However, the characters are exactly the same otherwise. Pretty cool. Now, one thing I would like to note is that these wings do look like feathers. And that is a little bit different than what you would see in the anime. This is much more like crystal. 
It's much more like the manga. So if you're more of a fan of the really broad wings that don't have a lot of definition, they don't have a lot of feathering going on, then you probably wouldn't like this figure. However, I'm a big fan of the feathering technique that goes into these wings. Uh, I think they're really gorgeous. So I am a big fan of these figures. Okay, so I will put these to the side. Next, I'm going to open up the Super Sailor Moon glitter and glamours figures. I have a feeling these ones will be a little bit easier because she doesn't have wings. What is your favorite version of Sailor Moon? Are you a fan of Eternal Sailor Moon, Super Sailor Moon, Normal, Regular Sailor Moon, Serenity? Are you a fan of Princess Serenity or Neo Queen Serenity? I'm curious, let me know. I think my favorite version of Sailor Moon is Sailor Cosmos. And if you have read the manga, let me know what you think of Sailor Cosmos. I really hope that in the remaining seasons or movie of Crystal, if they announce a movie in the future, I really hope that they show us Sailor Cosmos. Since it is based on the manga, you would think that they would, because she's so cool. She's such a badass. You really have to like push these things in there to get her pigtails into her head. I love that the stands just kind of snap into place. That's such a huge difference from the stands that came with figures like Gashapons back in the 90s. These are a lot easier. All right, so here we have Super Sailor Moon. We have pastel and anime color editions. Ta-da! Glitter and glamours. I have to say they look really beautiful. Uh, these are definitely a little bit easier to put together than the Eternals, and that is just because they don't come with wings. So one less piece that you have to assemble. The two versions look very beautiful. Um, my pastel version does have a little bit of black scuffing on the back of her head, but that's pretty much hidden, so I'm not too worried about that. Otherwise, I have to say, like, even though these are so inexpensive for characters, the paint detail is done really well. Like, look at the beautiful ombre effect of her skirt, the gold detailing on her brooch and on her skirt belt thing are very awesome. They look really good. These are definitely like versions that you would see in Crystal, Sailor Moon Crystal. Her bow does have a little bit of pearlescent sheen to it, and that's really pretty. However, every single part of her is opaque. I also really like that her boots are shiny. That's cool. That's a nice little addition. I'm glad that they're not matte like her skin and her fuku are. They actually gave some shine to her boots on both versions. So that looks really nice. So here we have Eternal Sailor Moon and Super Sailor Moon, both pastel and regular anime colors. Are any of these your preference in terms of colors? Let me know down in the comments below. Otherwise, these are a great addition to my collection. They're also something really, really easy to find in case you are interested in starting your own collection. So if you are a new Sailor Moon collector, definitely keep an eye out for these because grabbing a couple of these is very inexpensive. They're not super rare, so it's really easy to find these here in the United States. In fact, I went to my Hot Topic store a few weeks ago and they still had a couple of these in stock. So you can sometimes find them in stores, otherwise you can find them from resellers. But again, I paid around $16 for each of these from Hot Topic and I believe I had a coupon, but generally you can find them for around 25 bucks or less. So keep an eye out for a deal because these are a really, really easy product that you can find for your own collection. Don't forget to subscribe if you are not already. I always really enjoy seeing new subscribers and I love talking to y'all in the comments. So leave a comment down below if you're interested in anything in particular for a future video. And until next time, I'm Sailor Snubs, Jenna.